G'day, James Cullen from Stones Corner Marine and today I just want to give you a little bit of an insight into the connectivity between the Humminbird Solix range and the Yamaha four stroke outboards. Um, what I'm going to demonstrate today is the connectivity of NMEA 2000 uh, which is easily done between a modern four stroke Yamaha outboard and the, and the uh, current Humminbird Solix range. Um, look, there's, there's many reasons for why people want connectivity. One of those reasons is as simple as tight dash space. Um, in the modern boat where um, electronics are uh, highly desired and big screens are important, um, we're seeing the amount of remaining dash space being uh, reduced to a point where people are saying, well, I don't really want engine gauges. Like, I don't, I don't need that information. Is there any way of displaying them? Well, the answer is yes. Through NMEA 2000, uh, we can hook up all your engine data uh, through units like this Humminbird Solix. Look, there's other reasons why connectivity is important. Uh, in the instance of some owners, um, they may have a, um, a blockage uh, in their um, water speed pitot pickup on the leading edge of the gearbox. It may be a blockage of a, a stone or grit that can't be removed. Uh, or like we've experienced in our workshop, we've had uh, a customer present uh, himself to us whereby he had attempted to clear the blockage and, and the, uh, the drill bit broke in the passage and he was unable to remove that. Therefore, he was no longer getting fuel economy and trip data on his Yamaha instrumentation. But that was okay because through the NMEA connectivity, we can send the GPS speed information from this unit to the Yamaha instrumentation and that allows the calculation of, of fuel economy um, in saying that, you can also have it displayed on the, the Solix unit. So today, just uh, just quickly, I just want to give you a look at the, the Humminbird screen, how it presents. We've just got a basic setup here where we're going to allow the customer to customise to his liking. But what we're going to just demonstrate here is uh, um, one of the default displays and what's here. On this screen here, you'll notice I'm just going to start at the top right and go across. Uh, we have a depth in metre in a numeric value. We then have the ability to set a time based on time zones. Down here we have fuel rate. So as this engine runs, and I'll give it a quick run in a minute, fuel rate indicator dial will move. Below here we have fuel set up in a percentage value um, and a uh, needle gauge giving the percentage of fuel in tank. Up here we have an engine temperature bar and we then have RPM and engine hours. Again, some of these are a dial and numeric value. Down at the bottom right, we have speed over ground uh, information as in a uh, numeric value. Um, we have engine trim as a percentage. And above that, we have fuel economy set currently in kilometers per litre and engine volts. All of this information is uh, of different levels of value to each user. Um, so the, the good thing about um, these dials are they're interactive and they can be changed. For argument's sake, uh, if I was to hold my finger on this particular passage here for fuel rate, hold that down, it will come up with a highlighted version of that part of the screen. I can then go to data type and say, okay, well, what are my options? What can I replace that area of this, this display with? And there's a couple of different options here from speed, vessel, environment, engine, oil, fuel, wind. And you know, as I said, you can open these up and see under engine. Well, what other engine information can I locate here? I may want uh, coolant pressure, voltage, trim. So it's very easy. The Solix touchscreen, the Solix uh, interface is very easy and makes it easy to configure. I'm just gonna bail out of that now have a look at this screen. I'm gonna start up this uh, outboard and, and on this particular boat, we have a Yamaha SHO 200 horsepower. Um, it's all 2019 stock. Uh, this is a generation two unit, uh, but this, this technology is available across other uh, mediums in the Humminbird range. Just gonna start up quickly. Okay, so you'll notice here that the digital display comes to life. Um, we can see here that the um, instrumentation is settling and you'll see that the frame sake the fuel 
is sitting at about a 93% uh, capacity at the present. We can see the RPM is, is varying as the engine runs and we see that this engine currently has 109.6 hours uh, logged on the ECU. Engine volts is currently 13.8 and, and speed is not happening because we're not moving. In regards to us running in the tank here, we can see that the trim gauge is at just over 40%, let's call it 43%. And as I trim the motor, you'll see that this needle moves. Now I've done a short trim session there and we've moved to about a 70% trim ratio. Now, all of this information is uh, similar to that that you can get on the Yamaha gauges, but again, displayed in a larger or more uh, interactive um, display. Now, in saying that, there's other um, things we, I can quickly show you in the connectivity. If we come back out in these Solex, and for argument's sake, let's pull up our combination screen here that entails uh, GPS, side imaging, and your, your two-dimensional imaging. And I was just to hold that down just for the purpose of making the screen look nicer. I've got my uh, GPS data. And I thought, while I'm navigating here, I also want to see how my uh, engine data and engine is performing. I simply have to press the, the picture of the engine here, get that up, and I can actually pin it so it stays as a sidebar. So you'll see here that I, I still have um, probably 85% of the screen as my GPS data, but I now have engine displayed as a sidebar. Again, this is able to be changed. At this point, we have engine revs, uh, water pressure, we have uh, temperature, fuel, speed, and trim. Again, this is all interactive and can be changed by the unit, yeah, by the owner when they get home. In a nutshell, um, we're excited that this technology is available. Uh, we would dearly love to talk to more people about it and provide them options. Um, I would suggest it's quite affordable. Each owner will have a different opinion on what they're prepared to spend on connectivity. Keeping in mind, but with this connectivity, yes, this will have a level of investment, but it may may do away with that, uh, the purchase of additional gauges and may free up your uh, dash space for other options or larger electronics. So there are advantages. Um, and look, the boys at Staines Corner Marine are really keen to um, do more of this, showcase more of this, uh, and certainly uh, trick up more boats. If you want any more information on this, please give myself, James, at Staines Corner Marine a call on 3397 9766. Uh, or come in and speak to Simon or Troy. Uh, they're my uh, hummingbird experts, but also Simon's in the uh, workshop is my technical Yamaha expert. So we've got a lot of experience together and we'd love to help you fill up your boat. Cheers.